I said five, four, three, two, one. How do you win? You start. How do you keep on winning? You start again. Prayer is the power that penetrates all problems, not sun problems, not any problems. Rise and grind for your mind. Yes, yes. We're here. We are here. It's an amazing Thursday morning. It's an amazing day to be alive. It's an amazing day to unlearn and relearn. To unlearn and relearn. We're gonna start everything like we normally do. Prayer is the power that penetrates all problems. Not some problems, not a few problems, not every now and then problems. Prayer is the power that penetrates all problems. Thank you for being here. I love you. We love you. But let's get straight into this prayer. Heavenly Father, thank you, Lord. I am grateful for your grace and your glory. I am grateful for the ability to lean on your will, the ability to lean on your strength, the ability to lean on your grace and your glory when I may find myself weak, when I may find myself down, when I might find myself hurt. I am... I know that you are in all and throughout all things. I know that you birthed inside of me a vision that's bigger than I can fathom. I know that you place a seed of opportunity in every circumstance, every roadblock. I know that you created us in your image. I know that we're God's greatest gift or God's greatest creation. So I want everybody that's in the sound of my voice to believe how amazing they are. And we're not talking about a 5% increase. We're not talking about a 10% increase. Well, we're talking about being able to operate with the supernatural. We're talking about a 100% increase in our finances, a 200% increase in our relationships, a 300% increase in our in our business this is the thing prayer is the power that penetrates all problems and the prayer it starts with your belief and heavenly father i believe in you in your son in our brother jesus name we pray hallelujah yes i am winning you are winning renee choincy thank you for joining listen unlearn and then relearn Watch your thoughts because they become your habits. Ha I mean, become your actions. Actions create habits. Habits define character. Character determines destiny. Yes, those things right there. It all starts with your thoughts. It all starts in your mind. It all starts in your brain. But you're in control. You're in control. Like whatever we, you, we wasn't in control between the ages of zero and five. Our, our paradigms, the belief systems that we have, where they were they were conduced based of off the genetics and the environment. So if you grew up in the hood, like myself, you are easy. You, it's okay to hear gunshots. You don't run. It's okay to see people on the corner selling their bodies. It's okay to see people do hand to hands and drug dealings. Like it's okay to see those things. So the only habits that you see are the ones that's in your environment. The only things that you can emulate are the things that are in your environment. So you have to unlearn that. Josh Allen, thank you for joining, brother. Sybil Johnson, good morning. Good morning. Look, we just made it through hump day. It's now Thursday. And now it's time to get knowledge on unlearning and then relearning. Unlearning and then relearning. Like I was taught, for instance, I was taught to believe and don't believe in it until anybody, until you see it, until they prove to you that they can handle such certain things. But now I don't have to believe or, or depend on any one person because our creator makes all things are possible. And it's this thing called faith. Faith is awesome, right? But faith doesn't mean anything if your belief system doesn't match it. If your values don't match you what you're talking about. So this is a shout out to all of my speakers, my motivational speakers, my inspirational speakers. Listen, yeah, it's a lot of money in motivational speaking. Yeah, there's a lot of money in ministry. But this is the thing. You have to do it for the message and not the money. For the ministry and not the money. Because the money is going to come. Like, yo, this is the thing. 
Money is a tool to be used and people are things that you should love. So if you, ha if you have to choose between your money or loving your, your brother or sister, then it, you, you, gotta, you gotta ask yourself, why, like, I, am I really, am I really a believer? Do I really, do I really believe that God is gonna take care of my bills? Like bills, the bills for our creator is at the bottom. Like he can take care of your bills. He can give you a house. He can give you a car. He can give you a cell phone. He can get you a job. But this is the thing, do you believe that he can do all those things? Now, once you, once you unlearn that, that, that society is not crazy, that it's not going to the devil, that it's not going, like which once you unlearn how to not to be a consumer and start to be a, a actual citizen of the, of the, the kingdom, actually be a, was, was the entrepreneur of your message and your mission, you have to learn. You have to learn that there's certain things that successful people do. Like, this, like I talk about, that faith is real, but then we're gonna go into the belief system. In order to change your belief system, you gotta create a habit. Like I have a belief system that, you know what, whenever I pray and I speak life, I pray because you know what, someone needs to hear those words that are coming out my, my mouth. And this is the thing, yesterday's episode was talking about everything being energy and vibration. When you pray and you believe in what you're praying, you have the ability to change your reality. You have the ability to change the molecular structure in this electromagnetic field that is vibrating at a very high rate of frequency. I know I just threw something at you, but my belief system, I don't believe that I'm solid. I don't believe that this, this body is solid. I don't believe that that water is solid. I don't believe that those trees are solid. But what I do believe that God's breath is in everything on this earth. He's, in, he's running through every cell of my body. He's in every molecule of that water. He's in every tree, every leaf, every house, every person that believes system that God is in all and in and, and the Alpha and the Omega and he's the King of Kings and you are his princesses and queens if not you're his princesses and princes you're his children we have the same co-creation ability that was given to us at birth but this is the thing it goes into that unlearning and then learning your true potential I'm here to tell you that you have deep reservoirs of potential I'm here to tell you that you have books unwritten that you have songs unsung that you have lives that you haven't spoken into yet that is you like that's not me that is you this is the thing I do these Facebook live messages every day to make sure that you know what somebody is getting reminded how amazing God's grace and glory is pa Pastor Jones thank you for joining I appreciate you I appreciate you my, that's my that's my mentor that's one of my pastors but listen every time I do these Facebook lives and talk about vibrations and frequencies and God and prayer is the power that penetrates all problems and how do you when you start how do you keep on winning you start again and talking about thoughts travel at a rate of a speed of 186,000 miles per second I don't say that to brag I don't just say that to, to, to show off how much smarts I have I know that I'm smart because our father knows all things listen you, it doesn't matter what your educational background is. It doesn't matter what, what your, your degrees are. It doesn't matter if you grew up in a small country town. It doesn't matter if you grew up in the projects. But this is the thing. I'm letting you know that every one of you that are here right now that's in the sound of my voice has the ability to achieve great things. But it doesn't work if you don't have faith. If you don't believe. If you don't believe, belief is something you have to believe in the unseen. This is the thing. This is how we trick up the enemy, right? When we run into a circumstance, when we get a flat tire, when our baby mother give us drama, when our, when our co-workers start acting silly, this is how you activate your faith and you show them how God acts. You know what? I understand. You know what? That's okay. I'll pray for you. Instead of letting the enemy take control of your body and you react, you, when you react emotionally, you don't have control over your emotions. You're allowing people to control your energy. You're allowing people to drain your battery. You're allowing people to take you from, from God's frequency, which is up here. Love, peace, gratitude. And this is something that I had to unlearn. 
because I'm a very passionate individual. I'm a very emotional individual, but this is the thing. My emotions, if I'm not in control of them, that's why I can go from being really hyped to being really calm because I know every time I scream at this mic, every time I scream at this, this, this cell phone, every time I'm on stage screaming, I am giving out my energy. I am giving out my mana, my Prada to the world. And because I believe in everything that come out of my mouth, my words are powerful. Your words are powerful. But this is the thing, I've created the habit. I've created the habit of waking up between three o'clock and five o'clock every morning. I've created the habit of reading some type of scriptural words every day. I've created the habit of watching motivational videos every day. I've created the habit of speaking to strangers, praying for strangers. I've created the habit of giving $20 out to that homeless person on the street. Not because, not because he's gonna, I'm worried about if he's gonna get it for drugs or whatever, because he need it. Not just because it's the money, he needs somebody to look into his eyes and say, you know what, I love you. I hope this helps. I wish I could give more. Like this is the thing, being a kingdom citizen, being being a, 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 a Christian, being a Muslim, being a Hindu, being a man of the creator, you have a obligation to love thy neighbor, not just the person next door to you. You love all. And it's easy to love those that are doing stuff for you with, with the real test. This is how you really trick up the enemy. You love those that you hate. You love those that you dislike. You love those that rub your skin wrong. You love those that make, that had done you wrong in the past. That's how you show true faith because you know it wasn't them that did that. You've learned that there is an enemy out here and that everybody can't defend themselves against that enemy. But you know what? The more we show God's love and grace and glory, the more we show that on a consistent basis every day. I'm not talking about just on Sunday. I'm not talking about just on Tuesday Bible study. I'm not talking about just on leadership. I'm talking about every day. Like I live this. This is not a character. M Mindset Morgano, he was created. He was created, but God had already birthed this passion inside of me. God had already birthed this vision inside of me. I just had to believe that I can achieve this. I had to believe it, so I'm gonna recap it. Faith, belief, and this is the most important thing. You gotta be consistent, and you gotta do it every day. I mean, every day, watch your thoughts because they, be, they create actions. Actions create habits. Habits create character. Character defines your destiny. This is the thing. Michael Turner, thank you for joining. That guy, Michael Turner, Michael Maestro Turner. I watched this young man for the past couple years go from just speaking in schools to shutting it down uh, on what businesses and operations like like this it's, it's, it's powerful when you when you lock into your vision so I want to tell you and you lock into your purpose this is how you find out who you are and where you're going wake up every day with an attitude of gratitude and expectancy right and then you ask and you write it down God who am I God where am I going and you get quiet like right, right when I wrap this up, I'm about to wrap it up really quick and I'm about to get quiet and just listen to the water. Just listen to the water. Like I'm gonna listen to this water right quick, right? You see where I'm at? I'm at the gym. So look, so look, I'm gonna get quiet. I'm about to go in meditation mode. But listen, faith without works is dead. Faith doesn't matter if you don't have a belief system. Start changing your habits. Start unlearning what you, what you have have what, what, what was given to you like like we're done with the we're done with the crumbs we want the whole loaf of bread and that's what God's children deserve the whole loaf of bread so I'm gonna leave y'all with these five these five tips that I've been talking about for the past two weeks confidence you got confidence I have confidence in you that you're great beyond belief number two legacy over currency focus on your impact that you're gonna leave on for your society for your children's children. If you don't have children yet, they're the children that you're speaking to. What legacy are you gonna leave for them? Dr. Miles Monroe is dead and gone, but his legacy speaks on. Martin Luther King, dead and gone, but his legacy speaks on. The money that they had, nobody's talking about that. So focus on legacy over currency. Focus on your strengths over your weakness. There's one thing that you do better than everybody else. Focus on your strengths rather than your weaknesses. And then the other one is, um, Get around good circles. 
everything is energy. You think just because you're hanging around with the old homies, you can't hang around them too long. They're gonna drain your energy. Everything is energy. You're either infecting or affecting people that you're coming in contact with. So get around some circles that can fill you up. Fill me up, Lord. Like I'm about to get filled up by this, by this, this water. I'm about to get filled up by this meditation. You gotta get around circles that's gonna fill you up. And this is the this is the most important. Look. God doesn't reward a sleepy, lazy citizen. So you got to get up every day and grind. You got to get up every day and hustle on your craft, on your message, on your mission. This is Mindset Morgano. We love y'all. Stay blessed and highly favored. Booyah.